This week, we're gonna show you another side of rugged expeditions you've never seen before. This might be the roughest, toughest, most thrilling hunt we've ever had, ever. Presented by the Peppy Family's Jonas Brothers Studios of New York. Museum quality taxidermy since 1908. We're back in South Africa. The land of all kinds of animals, tough conditions, a true rugged expedition, a place where you've really got to be ready for the rough and tumble environment that you're going to be staying in while you're there. Skulk! Welcome. We made it. I see the luggage all showed up, huh? We're traveling light again, you can see. Exactly. <laughs> Man, this place looks awesome. This uh, doesn't really look like our normal rugged expedition stuff, though. Are you allowed to say that? No, we're just, I think that the deal is this week, we can't show any of this stuff. Okay. What's up? Sometimes I'm telling you, it's hard to get the editor to do what you tell him to do. I said, look, don't show this stuff. We're rugged expeditions. We're supposed to be tough guys, not staying in fancy places like this. One of the best things about being in South Africa is all the different species you can hunt here. It's incredible, the numbers. I think there's more than 30 different species available to someone coming down here to hunt. Today is springbuck, one of the coolest animals around, found right here in South Africa. Even with the springbuck, there's a bunch of different kinds. You got the copper, Kalahari springbuck, but today we're going after that good old fashioned springbuck. This should be good. Springbuck love the wide open spaces where they can spot a predator from up to a mile away, especially two-legged ones. There's a big herd of springbuck. There's a good bush up here. I think I can sneak up to it. We gotta kinda like hide out if we can hunker down and hopefully they'll just keep coming. The wind is right. We haven't been able to sneak up on it, but I think I can sneak up to it without anything seeing me. On this edge here. We're good. This will work out. This is a great setup. We've got this pile of bushes right here out in the middle of nowhere. There's a pond right here next to it. And we saw some springbuck coming from way over there. And they were heading this direction. And they're kind of feeding along and chasing each other around. But we haven't been able to get within five, 600 yards of these things. And then they're running when we see them at that distance. So we're hoping that we can cut them off at the pass as they come this direction. Might be our only chance. It's probably still gonna be a long shot. The eland were leading the pack. And when I saw them walking within 150 yards of the pond, I figured, okay, here we go. Boy, these steenbuck, they just never stand still. You're just running. Right back there. Oh, this could work out good. I don't really see a big, oh, there's one. Right at the back. On the far right. I'll just keep coming like this. Keep walking to the left there, buddy. Ask me why I use a bipod. Carry it around all the time because here's a perfect example. All right, we got him at. Just like our antelope hunting in North America, springbuck hunting is the same thing. It's going to be a long, long shot. I mean, talk about dropping him in his tracks. I mean, 
not him cold. <laughs> yes. Let's go see. What an incredible little animal, huh? Look at these. The South African springbuck, the national emblem. Animal that's indigenous to this area where we're hunting at. They're just beautiful, huh? Look at them. Look at the white on them. Cool horns, the way they come up like this, like a leer. Got the stripe on them. Well, fancy pants, this one. And then this is a cool feature here. Check this out. On their back, when they're showing off during breeding season and that, they flare this white up like this. You'll see them sometimes out in the field and they're showing off with this, kind of like a mane that sticks up. But what a cool species, unique to only this area of Africa. You don't see these up in Tanzania or any place like that. Another great reason to come to South Africa hunting. Long shots, they're really smart. Kind of like hunting our pronghorn in America. Same kind of deal, open terrain, almost looks sagebrushish, except this has all got thorns, but really neat. Wow. It's so great to be hunting in South Africa. I just love this stuff. It's too bad we can't show just how nice it is. Because if we did, it would surely ruin Rugged X's tough guy image. That's for sure. Did I tell you I got a TV show in America? Yeah, you told me. Saturdays at noon? Yes, you did. Okay. Hey, what you doing? We must go hunting. Five more minutes. I just need five more minutes and I'm in. I'll be right there. Rugged expeditions. You know, I'm kind of a big deal in America. I thought they weren't gonna show that part. Who's in charge around here? What happened to my show, you guys? After one of the toughest mornings I've ever spent in the African wilderness and barely surviving the harsh environment, we continued on our quest to collect one of the rare Bontebuck antelope. What do you got for distance, Skulk? Just over 200, 210. Walking away, God, I'm too low. I go, can't. Go I, to the next anti, there's a bigger one in front. Go along. That one there. right there? Yeah. Let me see if I can get down. There's a small herd of bonte buck that's let us get about 400 yards, 450 maybe, away from them. It's, it's just too much out here at this distance. There's a bit of a wind, but I think we can get behind some of these little ant hills and maybe make an approach where we can get a decent crack at them. Bon and Buck are nervous little antelope. They might let you get into about 800 yards away, but then they're gone. It takes the right setup with the wind in your favor just to get within killing range of these rare trophies. You my breathing in place. Dropped him in his tracks. Skulk! <laughs> Great stalk, man. Bonte buck down. Nice and handy having this big termite mound here, huh? Yeah, that is a perfect rest. Not only to hide behind, but to get a nice rest off of. Let's go see. Skulk, one of the guys was saying the other day that these Bonte buck are Super rare, I mean, they're coming back from the brink of extinction through yes. South African farmers raising them and hunting, paying the way to give them an incentive to bring these things back. But they were also saying that there's actually less of these things around than there are white rhinos. Eh? Yes, that's true. Wow. Well, it's nice that these are such a good success story. You know, it just shows you what the revenue from hunting does for a species like this, that realistically, you know, nobody would bother with if there wasn't somebody that was gonna come over here and spend money on the camp and the trophy fees and all that. Yeah, that's exactly how they say even the white rhino. Yeah, good point, huh? With hunting. Look at this thing. Woo! Right on, Skulk. Nice one. I'll say. Look at the color on him, huh? And gorgeous. Wow, look at this. Kind of got dusty when he bit the big one. <laughs> Look at the black back here, this white belly, the white undersides like this. Just chocolate on his belly stripe right there. Man, these are gorgeous animals. Look at the horns. Oh, yeah. 
Bontebuck, white face like this. You can see he's open right in here. Got all the black markings on Thanks him. Thanks a million. What, what a, a gorgeous trip. animal, huh? This is awesome. Hey. What's up? Nice place, huh? Awesome place. Isn't this something? I can't believe it. Living the dream. Uh, after breakfast, I think we need to do a few skits. Just to, you know, fill in with the story. Yeah, that's fine, but you know, no matter what we do, don't show any of this stuff, okay? And don't film any of this stuff either, because we can't show people that, you know, we're doing this kind of stuff. It's a the show is called Rugged Expedition, so we want to make sure that it stays like this. Okay. One of the guys in camp had brought along a crossbow. And okay. on Rugged X, we're always trying to do something different and have some fun. So he let me bum it. Keep on going. That's it. Perfect. Maybe it's just my psyche, but it, having your foot down there when you're doing it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> Got out, took a few practice shots with it. This thing is right on the money. A little right, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm sure it was right on the money. Let's go see. The sun's finally coming up, but it's a lot chillier than it's been. It's not very often you come to Africa and it's colder than hell, but it's nice and crisp. Kind of reminds me of home. We're trying something different today. The Rugged X team is going for its first time ever with a crossbow, so we're not exactly sure what's going to happen, but that's what we do on Rugged X. It's always about trying something new. <laughs> But it's spot and stock bow hunting right here on Rugged X this week. We're full of optimism. Skulk, you ready? Yep. I'm ready for adding something to the Killarama. So here's the bulls. I don't have a rifle, but we got a crossbow. Now, never having shot anything with a crossbow, this could be interesting. Lo and behold, we got lucky when we found some Inyala bulls fighting, and they really didn't give a dang about what we were up to. They were just intent on beating the crap out of each other over some female that was not that interested in any of them, to be honest with you. We got pretty close, but the brush was just too thick. No shot. Time for a different approach. The Inyala bulls are in full rut and they are busy showing off for each other. Maybe now I can get in for a clean shot with the crossbow. Just like our white-tailed deer, Inyala seem to forget all about silver-haired predators during the breeding season. What's that distance? 30 yards. Okay. There he's broadside now. He's no, he's not that one. What? He's not that one. We need the one with the blood on his neck. Not this one. Where's the other one? Is that him? Behind. It's about 60 yards away. Inside a dark bush there. Behind this one. We'll just go like this. There, that one's walking away. Yeah, let him walk away. There we go. He's right there.
is he? 35. 35? Not a good shot. It looked like it hit him. Yeah. Quartering away. Just take another arrow for in case, just to be safe. My first crossbow shot. I gotta admit to the semi buck fever. <laughs> the shot felt good, but I always get that little feeling of doubt in my guts when I'm falling off a blood trail. The shot was right here. Here's the arrow. Haha! -ha. I'm never really sure what's happened until I finally find my prey finished. Pass through. Good shot. Painted that bolt red. Look at that. He's down in the bushes here. Good job, man. Man. Is he dead? He's dead. <laughs> God, look at how beat up he is on the face, huh? Yeah, I'm that's, fighting. Those other bulls, this is the blood we saw you. On his face, geez, look at that. Oof. So, I mean, the way they're fighting skulls, they just are going full tilt, like, with these sharp horns. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. They're, you don't find them dead around here, the way they're beating the crap out of each other. They do kill each other. Really? Yeah. Let's try and drag them out. We can get some glamour shots out here. Yeah. Look at this bull. When we crossed the road, we could see this red on his ear and it's all been bleeding down here. This just happened just now. He's got a big hole in his face right here. Get out of there. He's got another one right here in his neck right here. He's got another one right here. These things, when they fight with these sharp ivory tips like this, they go at it, I mean, more aggressively than any other animal I've ever seen. And you know, when they lock up like that, you get two equally matched bulls, somebody's going down. This guy was, and you know, if you got a choice between the two of them, that other one was probably in the same category as this. I'm taking the wounded one. I mean, give the guy, you know, his due, he's done. It's been just an unbelievable trip. Whew, and y'all have both. What a trophy. This week's trip, was one of the most extreme hunts I've ever been on with unbelievably rough conditions. I barely lived through it, but I guess that's why they call the show Rugged Expeditions. The good news is they didn't show me in the bubble bath. <laughs>